No more planning. Just do it. We can't quit. The Justice League doesn't quit. What's really good, guys, and welcome to the Kaiju Cinematic Destruction, our movie review show for the channel. I'm your host, Spider Menace, aka D Man. Your man, I'm sitting here with my sister, my day one, the one who holds it down for me, my co-host, Daria. Say what's up, Daria. What's up, Daria? What's up? We got ourselves a movie, the last in a long line of DC animated movie cinematic universes. I don't know how they acronymized it. But before we get Acron started, what? Yeah, they, they made an acronym out of it because like, oh. you have an MCU right. for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Oh, this okay. is like the okay. DC animated movie cinematic. So it's like DC AMCU. Uh, yeah, it's a okay. lot. It's, it's, it's complicated. It's, We're not going to yeah. get into it. But before we get started, if you'd like to see this channel continue to grow and thrive, please make sure to subscribe to us. Hit the bell icon because we got content for you every goddamn day from movies to video games to wrestling. Like any content that you do enjoy and comment down below because we do like to hear from you, Archives You Faithful. DC Justice League Apocalypse War. My goodness. Jesus Christ, this movie. My goodness. The whole time I'm watching this movie, Ooh. I'm sitting here going, like, please say psych. Please say psych, because they decided to go ham on this movie. Oh, they went dark. They went incredible. Well, it they, is DC. It is Justice League dark. It, it, uh, it, I'm just saying, they just that. went, like, really dark. Though. They they did, but they also did a good job of, like... So, if you've been sleeping on DC because you're like, hey, I don't like Suicide Squad or Justice League or <laughs> Batman v Superman, y'all need to chill and catch up on your DC animated movie cinematic universe uh, this is going to give me an, anim an aneurysm on the dc animated movies yes because there is a continuity spanning all the way back to 2013 with the first movie uh the flashpoint paradox and they really do a good job of, of closing that that loop uh with justice league dark mm -hmm. apocalypse war this is 16 movies in the making all continuing uh all with the continuity same voice actors same cast uh, same animated design for each and every single one of them. And so far, it's been one of my favorite uh, uh, comic book uh, cinematic universes out there. MCU is great. It's it's awesome. It's amazing. But the only reason why this Justice League and, and DC uh, cinematic universe is really doing a good job for me is because I don't have to go and get dressed to watch it. Yeah. I can just stay at home and watch all of them because like we bought. Yeah, so we many did. other stuff. We, did. Like, we 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 bought the death of Superman. We got yeah. Batman Hush right over there. Like we are in love yeah. with this whole continuity, and it is great. And then they culminated with this when they said that this is going to be the last one in the long line of the continuity they have. They're still going to be churning out because they have been churning out uh, uh, animated movies because okay. I think they had like six in 2019 alone. Okay. Some of them in the continuity, some of them not within it because they I know Batman, uh, Batman, uh, Superman, Red Sun. Is not a part of this continuity. Okay. Uh, Teen All Titans right. Go versus Teen Titans, Batman uh, and the Ninja Turtles, but like stuff like that. Those are out of continuity. But the ones that are in continuity is great because it tells a great and amazing story. And this one right here is rough. It is incredible. Yeah, rough. it's deep. It's rough. It's yes. Very dark. Very dark. It it brings everybody together. It brings the Teen Titans, the Suicide Squad, and Justice League together. Plus yeah. Constantine. Everybody is is involved with yeah. this, and it does so in such a fresh and um, organic kind of way. Yeah. So it doesn't feel like it's just you know everybody shoehorned in just to get involved. So I know everything like fits again within the continuity. Yeah. Um, this is not for kids. No, this no. is not for kids, and no, I, you realize it like after the after the first credits hit. Yeah. Uh, so the basic story is uh, um, Apocalypse sitting right there, right outside of Earth's reach. 
Uh, they're sending little scouts and, and parademons. Uh, Darkseid is like, haha, I'm standing right here. I'm just looming over you guys. And Superman, because this is after the death of Superman. So, do, uh, yeah. so, uh, Doomsday, uh, came down to Earth and beat him to death and killed him. That happened. Yeah. So, Superman is like traumatized. And he is like, I've never seen him depicted like this where it's straight up just like, you know, hey, we could like Lex is going. Hey, we could be diplomatic and you know, try to figure out what's yeah. going on. And, well, that's and, Lex. And, well, yeah. that is Lex. But at the same time, I've never seen Superman just straight up goes like, "No, we have to kill this guy." He's like, yeah. "We have to murder him because yeah. he killed me." And he is incensed, and things go awry. And the whole time, you're hoping that this is like a dream or a simulation or that something's going to unwrite this. But it never comes because things get dour. Characters yeah. die, and they yeah. die in gruesome and graphic kind of ways. Yeah, they do. And it do. just really messes with you. You got you got some characters who exhibit like PTSD, and like this is like the movie takes place two two years after the attempted raid on Apocalypse that fails. Yeah. And now we're just picking up the pieces and trying to come up with a plan. And again, everybody goes. No one is safe. If you're sitting yeah. here thinking like, that's a long-standing person right here in this continuity. Uh -huh. There's no reason why. Nope. And they're eviscerated. That was it. Yeah. That was it. T tell us what you think about this. This, this. Not just this movie, but just uh -huh. the whole, you know, for the past, again, this has been seven years in the making, 16 movies. Yes. I actually enjoy these movies. However, because I'm, I'm one of those who are not a fan of Batman versus Superman. <laughs> that shit pissed me off. Suicide Not Squad. even a fan of just like Superman in general. I, I don't. I don't like Superman. I'm sorry. I just don't. <laughs> I don't like Superman in general. But okay. Whatever. Before you, before um, you go Suicide on. Suicide Squad even pissed me off. So like. Before you go on, how do you feel about Superman in this movie? I enjoyed Superman in this movie. That that tells you something right there. Yeah. But continue. I'm sorry. Yeah. I digress. So I mean, so after watching that. It was like, okay, that's nice and refreshing. Now the DC universe has drawn me back in. Yeah. Because, of course, with those movies that came out, I was checked out. Yeah. I was just like, I don't give a shit anymore. It's a shame because they had the best Suicide Squad yeah. uh, movie, in again, in this part of this country. They yeah, had they two did. Of them. There's two Suicide Squad, uh, wow, Suicide Squad movies yes, that it, are just like blowing yeah. the, uh, the actual, you know... Uh, live action one away now you did like birds of prey i did like birds of prey and like we did like the likes again, of like aquaman yeah. and shazam and yeah Wonder again Wonder. those movies drew me back into the yeah. dc universe so yeah yeah and then this particular movie kind of tied it together yeah it was enjoyable because like, they, they, they bookended it perfectly well i'm not going to give any spoilers but this it's yeah. bookended perfectly with the first movie in the french in this particular franchise in this particular continuity and this the last one in this continuity, they bookended it perfectly well. The ending is so freaking sad, but it, kind it of is. hopeful at it the is. same time. It's like Star Wars. What was this where everybody dies in Star Wars? Rogue One? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like Rogue One. It's kind of like Rogue One yeah. a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Now, that, now that I think about it. But yeah, this 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 is this is a completely fresh movie. I, I absolutely enjoyed it. There's really no no big issues because it comes in at maybe like 90, 91 minutes. At, I think even yeah. with the credits, it's like 91 yeah. minutes. So it's not even that long. It doesn't but even it, feel long because you're doesn't. just so immersed into what's going on. Yeah, it engages you. Yeah. Well. Um so this there's not there's not much more I want to because I want to yeah, gush about this movie spoil, and I though. do want to spoil it but uh, we might have a we might have a video where we go through the the continuity because we yeah. can just binge watch them all because they because uh, I believe all the movies aside from Apocalypse War is on their DC Universe streaming service uh, Apocalypse War is not because I'm pretty sure they want to try to get as much money out of it as they possibly well, can no, and then they'll jump it over to the platform yeah but uh, for right now I do want to go through all of them. Uh, and just like, you know, gush about the continuity that they have. Yeah. But until we do that, let's go ahead and go for the scores. Daria, tell me what you got. Four stars. Four stars. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is a nearly perfect movie. Yeah, basically. This is a nearly it is. perfect yeah. like, it's It's emotional. I'm fully engaged yes. in this. I, I kind of wish that like, you know, once, once we get out of these current events, there should be like uh, the same way that they did for Quentin Tarantino's little uh, grindhouse films. Mm -hmm. uh uh, death proof and 
terror planet or whatever. Uh, planetary. Planetary. Yeah. Uh, like where they had like you know a double feature. Yeah. It's like I'm I'm starting to think it's like hey you know you could probably make bank hopping into the theaters and just going hey let's let's do like a double or a triple feature of some of these movies so people can get it could get into the continuity because this is yeah. this is like something that I'm like really happy about because yeah. y- y'all should be really into this. Uh, I give it a. Easy four stars. Yeah. This could easily have been a five. It's, again, it's not a perfect movie, but well, it's a nearly perfect it movie. It really is. It's, it's great. It gets in there. It gets out there. Doesn't doesn't take your time. Mm-hmm. Um, doesn't, it doesn't insult your intelligence. No, it, it doesn't. It doesn't insult your intelligence it at all. Yeah. Which is what I really give it credit yeah. for. Uh, it brings everybody together. Teen Titan, Suicide Squad, Constantine, his whole deal with the magic and then finally you know the justice league and it ties in some stuff in a neat bow and some of it it leaves it very messy and grisly and it is very gruesome yeah don't don't let the kitties watch no, this it's not for Do kids not let please, the kitties please watch don't. this because it, it gets there yeah. um but like yeah they really did some characters dirty uh and <laughs> they did it in a way where it's just like man you really wanted to see them succeed so yeah. bad i've never wanted to see a group of people succeed and not know how they were going to do it yeah because they, they didn't telegraph it but this is great uh justice league dark apocalypse war give it a check um you can catch it you know on various amounts of streaming services you can catch it i'm um, pretty sure on whatever your cable provider allows you to pay for it or just buy the dvd i'd say just buy the dvd yeah you know it's handle it yeah. like that but check it out uh but that's it yeah, I know. I know. Des is pissed off though. Why? Because they keep doing cyborg dirty. Yeah. They do cyborg dirty in every one of these movies. Of these they get movies him slapped do. up and clapped up, and now they got him. The way that they handle cyborg in this is yeah. so freaked up. It is. It's, but like, he gets the last laugh. He does. He gets the last laugh. He does. does. But I'm yeah, with I, I, I'm with you. I'm cyborg. With him. I'm team cyborg. Yeah, so. I'm so, with yeah. him. So yeah. But uh, if you'd like to uh, suggest any movies that you want us to watch, go ahead and comment down below. Head on over to Patreon because we do take requests from our patrons out there. We do watch some older movies. So it's not all new movies because we do want to watch some of the older movies and catch up on a few things mm-hmm. that we happen to miss. Head on over to Patreon.com slash Hillkaiju. Oh, that gave me the shivers for a second. That's a good thing. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, Patreon.com slash Hillkaiju. Head on over there. Become a patron. Join the Kaiju Swarm. Yay. Throw the hearts up. And we will catch y'all later. Deuces. Bye.